what I have is a PDF that has some standards listed on it. So I'm going to copy these standards. Copy, copy. You notice this obviously is going to copy and paste. Not really great. I'm picking up the footers here and the title. I'm getting a lot of stuff that I don't want, and I know the formatting is not going to work out the way that I want it to. But I'm not going to type this all by hand. Control C copy, and I come over here into the spreadsheet and I control V paste. You know, you notice that put it all into one cell. I'm like, this is a disaster. I needed a list. Control Z undo. Hold down the shift key. Hold down the shift key and paste. And that's better. It at least has taken each line from the PDF and put it into its own row, but it's still a mess. So what I'm going to do is I notice that these two are on different cells where they should be together in the same body of text. And then I also have this second row, which should be part of the first row. Notice when I hover, hover over the edge of the cell, it becomes a hand, and I can click hold down and grab it and drag it. So what I'm going to tell the spreadsheet to do is that this equals what is in the first cell and that's the ampersand symbol. I want what's in the second cell, but I don't want them smashed together without any space. So I have to by hand do quotation, space, quotation, so I'm adding a space bar. And I want what's in the second cell, and I want what's in the third cell, but again, I'm going to need quotation, space bar, quotation, I'm going to and need a space, and need what's in the third cell. So now I have all of the text in one cell together where I have the spaces. And then I'm going to move this one up. And this is part of the same sentence. So I'm going to move it into the second column. And I'm going to move this into the third column. I'm going to move this one into the fourth column and move this one into the fifth column. So I had five lines for the same body of text. So now at least I have them sitting next to each other. So now I want to put them all together. I want to concatenate or smash them together. So this equals the first cell and a space and what's in the second cell and a space and what's in the third cell and a space and what's in the fourth cell, and a space, and what's in the fifth cell. Enter. So now I've got all the text together. I've concatenated it or smashed it, so that's great. I'm going to keep going here. I'm going to drag this one up. It's all together in one, so I don't need to do anything with that. I'll come up here with the three, but the three has multiple lines. So I'm going to drag each one of those into their own side-by-side -side cells. I'm going to by hand do this one more time. This equals what's in the first cell and a space and what's in the second cell and a space and what's in the third cell and a space and what's in the fourth cell. All right, now that is obviously going to get tedious, so I'm going to show you a shortcut. But I have all these blank rows now. I can't even see what the next line is that I want to move. Plus, this is page numbers and things. So I'm just going to highlight these, right click, and delete the rows. I'm going to keep moving the text around so that each thing that's clustered together are all in the same row. I'm going to come back up here to the one that had Five. One, two, three, four, five. And assuming that that is the maximum number of cells that I want to concatenate together, notice when I click on the cell that there is a little square in the bottom right hand corner. It's called the fill down square. And notice when I hover my mouse over top of the fill down square, it changes into a crosshairs. I'm going to click and hold down and pull that down, and it's going to copy the formula. So notice when I double click, it says take the first cell and a space 
and the second cell and a space and the third cell. Now I don't need the fourth and fifth cell concatenated together into this, but I don't wanna have to do this by hand. So I'm just gonna say take all the first five cells and put them together. So I'm gonna keep going. Move this one, move that. Oops, control Z is an essential skill when you use spreadsheets. I put it in the wrong spot. And move this one up, move this one. All right, and so why is this saying hashtag REF reference? It has a error, and that's because I dragged the cells. It is wanting to use the A7, but I replaced the A7 when I dragged, and so they disappeared, so to speak. So the trick is I just click on one that's working, and I look at the fill down square, and I just drag it down, and I fix the formula. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do all the standards, I'm gonna drag them all in the right order, and then copy and paste with the fill down square the formula. I'm gonna remove these blank rows, delete, move this to the second column, move this up, second column, third column, Move this up, second column, third column, delete these rows, second, third column. Just gotta be careful you don't eat a cell that you already have, that you're going into a blank one. Move this up, next to, Move it up, next to, move it up, next to, delete these rows. All right, and I'm gonna keep doing that, and then I just get the fill down square for the ones I've already done, and I drag, and it's gonna be right in there. Now, I wanna make some check boxes. This sheet looks like a mess. I'm going to make another sheet. Now on the first sheet what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all the concatenated cells. This is where the uh, values are all smashed together and it's the way that I want it. I'm going to copy but when I paste I'm going to have a problem. When I paste it's pasting the formula. That doesn't work because it's not referencing where are those cells. So I want to hold down the shift key, control shift V, and I paste it and it strips the formulas and just pastes the values. Then in this column, I'm gonna go insert checkbox. So now I have a list of the standards with a checkbox right